quit licking me. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to the vlog. We have, uh, we're like a little out of. You think last week order. we were scattered? We're everywhere, man. We've taped all kinds of things and then we're like, wait a second. We taped so much Does we don't even, even know make, what goes yeah, where. This doesn't make sense. So, um, but mainly what we wanted to focus on this week is talking a little bit about um, Camp Ludacris. We decorated for Christmas. Many of you know, to, for those who are just catching up, we have a family campground. So, uh, when the cooties hit this year, we created a pod with uh, Aunt Lou's family and my parents where we all pretty much uh, stick to ourselves. Uh, Addie and her cousins are all homeschooled, so we're all kind of just this little um, unit that hangs out together uh, to kind of survive all of this. And so we created a campground so that we could work and play together. Um, and so now that it's Christmas time, even though it's Indiana, we have decided that we are going, we were going to decorate. This um, is our first Christmas in Indiana in three years. Yes, uh, meaning my, um, Mikey, me, and Ad. Yeah. It's our first Christmas. Yeah, we've been, the first year we went to Florida, then last mm -hmm. year we went to Texas. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then this year we're back home again <laughs> yes. in Indiana. Yes. Now, they, uh, they usually come immediately after Christmas and join us somewhere, mm -hmm. wherever we're at traveling. So, th we're still together for the holidays. And, but we had a really special day decorating for uh, decorating the campground. And uh, so, it all started, I think, we got down here um, and I put on some recipes. Today is a busy day at Camp Ludacris. Mikey's went to go get uh, some screws to help get my uh, spice racks in this uh, spice cabinet to be able to screw them down without hurting anything. This, you, well, I'm not gonna lift that up. But if you look right here, this is a beautiful spice rack. However, like not travel capable at all so I got these metal racks to keep my spices in um, and I was thinking I was gonna put them over here but then when they fit here which is like what this is supposed to be and it actually used this space I liked it so much better so he's just going to make those travel ready so he's gonna screw them through this wood so that they hold tight so that when we're traveling, I don't have spices flinging all over the place. All right, so my last, my last task that I've got to do before I head back home is, Chris got these really nice spice racks to go on this shelf. And the problem is when you're driving down the road, they're gonna do that, they're gonna bounce all over the place. So I'm gonna fasten a couple screws down in there and that'll keep her, hey. No. No. Shush. Quiet. And that'll keep her spices from going crazy while we're driving down the road. Immovable spice rack. Anyhow, so he went to go do that. Uh, word is the hitch that we've been having such a hard time getting delivered. Like we've, this is, our, this will be our third hitch. The first hitch was the wrong hitch. The second hitch, uh, the box was shredded and half the pieces were missing. So this is our third time trying to get the hitch. So uh, Mikey and dad can put the hitch in the truck. And so that's a really important thing that we're doing. So he's working on getting all that. Because originally we were going to tape um, a, a new version of Mississippi Chicken together. Um, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. Um, and I'm going to be doing it in the new, or new to me, Instant Pot uh, 
multi cooker. So it's not a pressure cooker. It's a um, it's a multi cooker, and it's got a stainless steel pot. As you can see, um, with a non stainless steel outside to it, like that. Um, so I'm gonna do like first impressions with that, and then kind of refresh our um, Mississippi chicken for people who haven't maybe seen it. So I'm getting ready to tape that. The boys are very busy with Miss Ad. Hello. She is puppy sitting and they're sitting and being good puppies. Right, Ad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and word is there is going to be a camp Christmas tree in a little while and I need to go make some t-shirts. So I need to get at it. that I have been kind of teaching myself during this time that we've been home is how to make our own merch because the Teespring stuff is really expensive and then when we buy in bulk that's also really expensive so I've been trying to figure out how we can design the things that especially for Mikey's music that he wants and also maybe for the channel and other things um, we're nowhere near ready to sell anything or anything like that but we're just making things um, for promotional reasons right now. And so this is a really cool thing. I'm not wearing it. I'm holding it right now. That Addie designed for uh, Mikey and his band. Um, if you can see. Mikey Good and the Junkyard Dogs. I'll have him put it on and show you a much better picture of it. <laughs> it wouldn't look right on me anyways. But what I've been doing is just uh, learning how to put a heat transfer vinyl on nice, soft, lovely t-shirts and that kind of thing. And I think he's been giving away some of these um, during his live shows. So if you want something, not with the Junkyard Dog, but with like Sit Here and Drink Beer and uh, some of his other songs. I'm not really sure. So, but what's really cool about this is he wanted Miss Ad to draw him the uh the cartoon figures for this so that's really cool and so it's everybody's had a hand in designing some of this stuff oh and if you're wondering what room i'm in this used to be miss ad's nursery when she lead a bitty but we turned it into kind of a craft studio for miss ad and i when we do creative things and i asked her if she wanted to paint over all of this and kind of update it, it's kind of like a little farm with hills and all that kind of stuff. She said, absolutely not. Oh, here, let me help you. I'll shut the door so you can see the door inside. It's a mess in here because again, this is a craft room, but uh, the door is the red barn. See, and it's an actual working door. So um, anyhow, and that's all the stuff we're working on, but, that's total side note. Don't know if you wanted to see all that, but that's what that's what we're working on. And um, I might show you some of the other stuff like that he's been giving away here in a little bit. Oh, and Ollie is in his Ollie cart behaving. The puppy is in there chilling, I think. <laughs> all right, well, I better get to work. Hang on, y'all. What's wrong? There's a smudge on the camera. I can see you all so much better now. I can see clearly now the smudge has gone. Anywho. So then we, uh, so we, we participated, a part of getting the campground ready, we've had to, um, clear out some trees in certain areas and there was a certain cedar tree that uh, dad had been eyeing for a while to uh, but he was waiting until Christmas for us that it, he knew it needed to go you guys are hearing Ollie in the background he's trying to say hey dad and take me out um, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, the cedar tree that he was going to take out, but he thought instead it might be more fun for 
for the family to cut it down. So we've been doing this album, you know, of course we've been talking about it for weeks now, months actually, and uh, we're getting down to the tail end of it, which is really exciting. And we uh, took a few guys on the project from Nashville that have played with some heavy heavy hitter players, you know, heavy hitter singers. And I don't know if y'all know who like Luke Combs and all them folks are, or Brothers Osborne, who's my country fans out there, give me a like. Uh, but I've been uh, hiring the guys that play for Luke Combs and... and uh, uh, Luke Bryan and Brothers Osborne to play on my album and one of the guys uh, he added some what's called a resonator which is a, a type of guitar that I'll show you here in a second and I love that sound so much and we have really always loved that sound in the music that I've done and I'm like you know what not that I don't want to hire the guy who's been playing this thing for 20 years but I want to learn how to play it myself so I sucked up to the boss <laughs> And I said, I know what I want for Christmas. And this came in the mail. It's here. It's here. It's really here. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm just super happy about this one, brother. You set it down right there. Right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Could it be? Candy! <laughs> Fragile. More candy. They shipped it in a beer cooler. Oh. Ta -da! New resonator. So we've been super busy. We've got two big, two recipes you guys saw on the blog last week, or on the on the channel. We did. We've been doing a lot of our tried and true recipes. So we did some Mississippi chicken, um, and then we did another favorite recipe um, in the Foodie for Foodie Friday, and that was our electric pressure cooker. Chicken. 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 Yes, and a lot of you guys have been trying it. So. How'd you like it? Yeah. And I know some of you had some questions about the new multi-cooker that we're testing now, and I'll try to get back to those uh, questions and answer them specifically. But just a couple things. One, this uh, unit is a little bit different than the gym that we had a few years ago. There was a recall on the gym. I totally know all about that. This is a different model. Um, Ironically enough, whenever my gym got recalled, I um, exchanged it for the crock pot pressure cooker that now is being recalled. So I think they all go through, or not all of them, but I think it's a, I'm glad that companies are being responsible and recalling things. 
um, whenever they uh, see a problem. But this is a different line. Um, it's new to us. It's called, I never can say it. What is it? The Aura Pro. Yes. And, and Mikey's really excited about it. Okay, so this is where I'm going to go back and I, I've got to give another shout out to a really good friend of mine. Uh, one of our Croc Posse members on the channel. You guys know Dave. We've talked about Dave quite a bit. We love Dave. Um, had the chance to have coffee with him um, last last year. Uh, when we, uh, I, yeah, I can't we're, keep up with the years. We've, it's, well, yes. once you've been in 2020, the whole year <laughs> is so long ago. Now, last year we got to meet up with Dave, and uh, Dave is a cooking fanatic, a lot like us, and he's always shooting pictures of the stuff that he's cooked. And one of the things that he's been on me for years about has been to do sous vide cooking. And I know nothing about sous vide cooking other than I've checked out a couple other channels. And um, there's one channel in particular, and I'm trying to remember their name, but they do sous vide cooking. That's like their whole, that's their whole thing. And the meats that come out of their cooker look ridiculous. So uh, Dave's been on me forever. Have you tried sous vide? There's this When he bottle. says ridiculous, he means good. Oh, ridiculous, like awesome, like wowzers. You know, I don't know. I'm not hip with the lingo of today's kids. I just go with what I know. What I know. But it's ridiculously awesome, okay? And so here, before too long, um, I'm going to grab some different meats, and I'm going to try some sous vide cooking. Dave! <laughs> and uh, we're going to see how well it is. But it seems like any time that I see, like, a sous vide recipe, uh -huh. and you see, like, you know how, like, when we go to take a bite of the food, you know, like, oh, my gosh, it's so good. The faces that I see a lot of these people make, is the face I want to make. It's like, the best meat I've ever put in my mouth. It just melts in your mouth like butter. And I'm like salivating watching this. So, Dave, we've got ourselves a sous vide cooker. It's going to happen soon. Yes. I'm going to make a run, grab a whole bunch of meat, and try it. Uh, and so, we're testing all that. It might be a while before you guys see it. Uh, it is a feature on the 8-quart model, which is why we went with 8-quart, um, not the 6-quart model. So I, I don't believe it's the, it, that feature is available on the 6-quart model. But again, we are doing first impressions of this thing. We're just kind of getting to know it. We're in the dating stage. Um, Ollie, Ollie's going to have to come down here and say hello here in a minute. Um, We're not ready to meet the parents. Right <laughs> But, um, but for those of you who've asked about that stainless steel pot sticking, so far so good. It's cleaned right up, just like my Instant Pot. I really never have had a problem with my Instant Pot stainless steel insert. So we'll, we'll see um, right now if you want a quick preview for next week's recipe. Yeah. We are testing out scrambled eggs in it to see if scrambled eggs will stick. Because if something's going to stick, probably scrambled eggs probably, will stick. Probably, yeah. Anything so, with dairy, that'd be the thing you're yeah. going to watch for. So we're going to, we're, we're testing out those kinds of things out. Um, um, but I knew you guys had a couple questions about that. And I wanted to uh, kind of address that. And then, um, but I think that that's pretty much what we have for today. Yeah. So it's a good idea too because I'm down to my last little bit of coffee and I think and my coffee's more. over there. Yeah. I need to go. So we, we got we got stuff to do. We got tape. We're, we got to tape food. I've got this video I got to edit. <laughs> I've got to go to the studio. All, All the things. things. <laughs> All right, bye, bye guys. guys. <laughs> Look what came in the mail. Straight from Sweetwater. It's gonna make Mikey goo music. Oh, so much hotter. I mean, seriously, people. Is there anything any greater than my new Grinch box called Resonator? I'm as happy as a boy can be. Merry Christmas to me. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.